four unit buildings, folks. Those are my favorite types of investments. I got a couple investors from California, Rashul and Tarek. We're going to be looking at something like that for you guys. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. And folks, Holton Wise TV, we're all about providing you guys with real estate education, transparency, hopefully a little bit of entertainment. And this show, of all the shows, this is the most interactive show. This is the one where we work together one-on-one, -on -one, okay? I'm working with a uh, couple out of California, right? Rashul and Tarek. You guys uh, have purchased a 10 video package from me. This is the third video we're doing for you folks. Uh, what you guys have, uh, we just put a duplex under contract, and you guys are looking to get approximately five doors a year, right? That's your plan, okay? So we need to get at least three more doors for you two, and what I've got for you guys today is I got you four doors, right? My favorite type of investments of all time are, are quads, okay? The reason being, right, real estate investing, guys, is all about the financing, okay? Now, there's two different kinds of financing. There's residential financing and there's commercial financing. Residential financing is the best gig in town, okay? The downside to residential financing, there's two downsides. The two downsides to residential financing are, number one, you could only get 10 of these loans, right? These are government-backed loans, Fannie and Freddie. They're going to back these things, okay? They're sold on the secondary market. You only get 10, right? That's one negative. The other negative, you could only use these types of loans on properties that are uh, residential, right? The people got to live there, okay? And it's limited in scope to one, two, three, and four unit properties, okay? So if you want to buy a six-unit apartment building, you can't get a residential loan. You might say, okay, cool, whatever. Who cares, dude? I'll just get a commercial loan. Same thing, right? No, it's not the same. The pros, those were the cons, the pros to these residential loans they're 30-year loans, right? Commercial loans, they're not 30-year loans. These are 30-year loans. The interest is low. The interest is fixed. The interest is tax deductible. Best financing gig in town, except for seller financing. Seller financing is actually probably the best. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's a topic for another day. If you guys are interested in seller financing, we do offer seller finance deals here on Holton Wise. So go to the property search for sale tab and then scroll down and click the MLS analysis tab and you can get access to all of our seller finance deals. But that is not what we're talking about today, right? That's something totally different. What we're talking about today is going to be the residential financing that you can get on a four-unit building, which is what I found for you two today, okay? 3812 Poe, Cleveland, 44109. Just hit the market 12 days ago, right? What this is, this is one parcel listed at 139000 one parcel, a uh, company called Local, one parcel, two duplexes, okay? You get two full-size duplexes, right? Number one. Number one, number two, right? So front house, back house, you get both of them. It's all on one parcel, right? One plot of land. You should have no issue getting a residential loan on this particular property, right? Because it falls under that one to four units. That said, this is what's called non-conforming use, okay? Like today in Cleveland, it's 2020. You're not allowed to take one parcel and build two duplexes in 2020. You can't do that. You can't just be like, yo, I got a duplex. So let me build another duplex in my backyard. You can't do that. Current zoning laws do not allow for it. Back in the day when these were built, like these, uh, let's see how old these suckers are. These were built in 1920, right? So 100 years ago. 100 years ago, zoning laws were not that strict. Building codes were not that strict. So, that, you know, you can kind of do a lot of stuff that you can't do today, right? People have really, like, whittled down what you're allowed to do. So, what that means, though, it doesn't mean you have to tear down the other duplex. It doesn't mean there's ever going to be a risk that you're going to have to tear down the second duplex. No, that's not going to happen. It's grandfathered in. But what this means is its current use is grandfathered in, non-conforming use, okay? 
the, the caveat to all that is some lenders have an issue with that. So yes, you can get these residential loans, but there are going to be fewer lenders who are willing to do that because it all, it all runs into their liability where, uh, in a nutshell, uh, if the homes were to burn down, the city wouldn't let you build two new homes there because you can't rebuild there because it wouldn't be grandfathered anymore because they burned down, right? You'd be trying to build something new that's no longer uh, allowed under current uh, building codes, right? So some lenders have an issue with that. Other lenders, as long as your insurance policy is willing to pay them out more than they've, you know, as much or more than they've put into the, uh, the loan, they're cool. Other lenders, they freak out. So you're going to want to talk to my whole list of lenders, sales at holtonwise.com. Anybody who wants that list, go ahead and shoot us an email, sales at holtonwise.com. And you want to go through, I got a bunch of lenders on there. You want to talk to all of them. Make sure you specifically mention that it's two duplexes on one lot. Current use is non-conforming, right? That's very important. So yes, you can still get that amazing loan, but you might have to talk to more lenders than most normal people. But if you go through all of that, you know, BS and annoyance, what do you get? Well, you guys get a freaking cash cow. Now, I understand as we're, you know, we're scrolling through the photos, like, it, it's a little rough, right? You know, we got weeds and shit and just fucking crap everywhere. And, like, you see a little bit of chip and paint. You know, this is very much low-income investing, folks. You ain't buying the Ritz-Carlton here, okay? Like, let's just be clear on that. You know, it's not the Ritz-Carlton, but all four of these units are occupied. This is what they look like prior uh, to the current landlord putting in their tenants, okay? As you see, they didn't uh, do a high-end renovation by any means, right? They, they, they got low-income housing, and they went with a low-income rehab, right? You see, they, they put actual, like, deck paint on the floor as opposed to refinishing it. I don't like to see that. I think that's a cheap way to do it. I think you get a better long-term uh, return on your money by spending more on the rehab because you attract the highest quality tenants of the neighborhood when you do that. Uh, but not every landlord feels that way. So going forward, I would anticipate uh, with Holton Wise running this for you and your subsequent turnovers, we'd want to put together a nicer rehab than these folks have. And another thing they did is they painted the trim and the wall the exact same color, right? That's just another thing you can tell. Someone's just trying to cut corners, right? They want to pay their painter a cheaper price because they don't have to cut anything in. And then and, you know, we still got the outdated kitchens, right? Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. So with all that said, though, right, with what they've done here uh, with this low income rehab, They've got four tenants all paying between five and a quarter and five fifty. So they got the rent at twenty one fifty. Now with a higher quality rehab, we should probably be able to get that rent up to six, six and a quarter. So there's a little meat on the bone. But more important than the little bit of rental increase though is gonna be you're gonna get a higher quality tenant. But right now we're dealing with twenty one fifty or twenty five thousand eight hundred a year. Of that twenty five thousand eight hundred a year, I anticipate you spending approximately thirteen and a half to operate the property, and that's me calculating savings of almost thirteen hundred a year for capex, vacancy and non payment repairs and maintenance. Right? You know, it's low income investing. Right? This is a CD neighborhood. Uh, I like it because it's near Metro Health. Uh, they're investing a billion dollars into Metro Health. More info on that's going to be in the show notes. So I like this neighborhood. I, I see some potential gentrification coming to this neighborhood in the future. But uh, repairs, maintenance, vacancy, turnover, that stuff is going to be par for the course in this type of investing. You have to understand that. That's also when I get, give you the price we're going to try to buy this for. That's why it's so fucking cheap, right? Because you do have these issues, but... What I'd like to do is, as we face natural turnovers, I'd like to, you know, spend like five to eight k improving the units, then getting ourselves Section Eight tenants to pay that six and a quarter rate, and then hopefully our subsequent years of ownership are going to require much less vacancy, much less repairs, because that's when you're doing your repairs, guys. You're doing your repairs at your turnovers, uh, and then of course your your vacancy and your non-payment of rent, right? Those issues are from when you're dealing with people that can't pay their rent, right? You're a victim, right? But if you get Section Eight tenants in there, 
you're really eliminating the majority of those problems, right? Because like Section 8 tenants, they don't lose their job and not pay their rent, right? The government pays the rent. That's why it's very important. And then you got your capital expenditures. Very important that we say for that here because as you can tell from all the photos, right, you know, it's kind of a rundown property. E everything is like older, right? Older roofs, older mechanicals. So our furnaces, our hot water tanks, all older. So over the course of your ownership, you're going to be upgrading all of that. So we're going to be saving almost $1,300 a year for that, right? Roofs. And you got two roofs here, right? So there's about $7,000 roofs. You know, they last 30 years. I'm sure you're going to have to do both of those within the next five to 10 years. You got f uh, four furnaces. Those are all three grand a pop. I'm sure you're probably going to have to eventually do all, all four of them within the next decade. Hot water tanks, same deal. Those only cost a grand, but you'll probably have to do four of those in the next decade, right? So all that told, I calculated for that, and I didn't even include that in your return, right? I, I calculated that as part of your expenses. So... Uh, that notwithstanding, you should be profiting 12.2 plus that additional, what is that? That's an additional 3,900, right? So it's really 15K going into your pocket uh, every year. But I calculate for that because I know you're going to need to do that stuff. So it's 12.2. And I'd like to pick it up at 120K. Very infrequently can you get four units for only 120K. But all the negatives I just got done, like a after you listen to this analysis, you might be like, dude, I don't even think he wants me to buy that property. He doesn't like that property. I was pretty rough on that, right? But that's what we do, guys. We have to be rough on these properties so you understand what you're getting and we provide you guys with a transparent look at what you're buying, right? I'm not going to stand up here and be like, yo, these are the nicest tenants in the world. This house looks nice. And, and then you look at the pictures and you're like, really, dog? That's pretty low end. I it it's... That's what it is, right? It's a rougher, tougher, higher risk neighborhood, but the price to rent ratio is insane. It makes up for that risk. And we have that appreciation, that possible gentrification on the back end because they're injecting a billion bucks into this neighborhood. And then we have the Section 8 program to help alleviate our risks, right? So if you know what you're buying and you understand the risks involved, this is a hell of a deal, right? 120K if we could pick it up for that. It's a 10.2 cap, and even with all of those expenses I calculated, including saving that 3900 not counting that as your return, kicks off a 25.5% return, guys. So if you're willing to deal with some of the riffraff, take a little bit of risks, this is the type of profits that can be made. This is how I've changed my life and uh, become very wealthy through the real estate investing industry. So, Rashul, Tarek, if you guys are interested uh, in uh, doing this particular deal, just reply to this private link. Let us know. We will submit the offer on your behalf. Uh, let me know how much you want to offer. I think 120 k is the price we need to offer. But, of course, it's your money, so you let us know. And then we'll help schedule your third-party home inspection, get in there, see if there's any major issues that, uh, you know, we're not anticipating, such as, like, major structural issues, things of that nature. And then after the deal closes, if we get that far, my team, of course, will handle your property management, your maintenance, your construction, your insurance, your title insurance, the whole nine, top to bottom. That's what we do, folks. Everybody else out there, if that's something you're interested in doing. Sales at HoltonWise.com. Shoot us an email. Give us your phone number. My team, they'll set up a time to give you a call and talk to you about potentially working with us in the same way that these folks are. That's all I've got for today's show. Thank you for sticking around. Do me a solid. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button so it lets the algorithm know that you're finding value here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.